What's up, guys? I wanted to talk to you a little bit about comping in the R&B and hip hop genres today. And we're gonna focus on major seventh chords. So let's get to it. And we're gonna actually start with a little example that I was playing in the introduction to this that's in F major seven. And it might have sounded really cool, or maybe not, but uh, the thing that I just demonstrated was basically just using one chord, but different inversions of that chord in order to achieve a certain kind of effect. And I'm gonna teach you how to play what I was playing in the introduction, as well as showing you a few chord forms. So the first chord form that I'm gonna give you is an F major seven based on the A string with an A string root. So if we're playing an F major seven, it's good for you to know the notes across the fretboard. Um, you can count across and figure out where an F is, but I'll just tell you that the F here is starting in the eighth fret of the A string. So you're gonna do the eighth fret of the A string with your index finger. You're gonna use your ring finger on the 10th fret of the D string. You're gonna use your middle finger on the ninth fret of the G string. And you're gonna use your pinky on the 10th fret of the B string. And I like to bar this, so I'm also playing the eighth fret of the E string. This is a movable form. It gets its name from the note on the A string. So in this case, we're playing an F major seven, but we can move it down here, and it's an E major seven. Down here, E flat major seven, D major seven, etc. But let's stick it with F, F major seven for now. That's the basic form. Now when you're playing R&B, often people will hammer on the third, which is this pinky note. So rather than just going, which is perfectly fine, it's a cool sounding chord, you can just take your pinky and hammer on. already have a cool little lick. So that's the first chord version that we have. And then what we're going to do is we're going to also add the note beneath, which is the eighth fret of E. So what I just did in this pattern is you can either pluck the strings with your fingers, which I like to do, or you can do it with a pick, which is a little easier and also gets that kind of plucky effect. So that's your first chord form. The second chord form I'm gonna give you is um, an F major seven, but it could also be a D minor nine. And if you're doing F major seven, if you know your drop twos, which are a cool thing to learn, it's like different inversions of the guitar uh, seventh chords, uh, with a drop two that starts on the 10th fret, and this is probably my favorite chord voicing, if you've watched any of my other videos, you've probably heard me play this a lot. You're gonna bar the 10th fret from the D string down, and then you're going to play the 12th fret of the E string. So that's the, that's the, uh, the chord there. This could be a D minor nine or an F major seven. Right? It's actually an F major seven with the C, the fifth and the bass. So what I did is I made a little melody there and I went. So that's the first two chords, and those are both forms of F. The third chord that I did is the basic F major seven chord that you've probably learned before. If you take a basic F chord down at the bottom of the neck, right? The guitar's a little out of tune. Um, you could play the E string open, and you already get the F major, right? But if you did it up here, it has a kind of cool sound. So what I've done is I've made a melody there. I put those three voicings together. Yeah, the whammy bar. And this is uh, a movable chord as well. Even that sounds cool. Right? Um, and in this case, you're playing with the seventh. It gets its name from uh, the note on the D string, which is played with the pinky. So all together, again, the pattern goes. And if you learn these three voicings, you can put them together, assemble them in any way you like, and kind of build melodies off of things that you're playing. And that's something that uh, you hear a lot in a lot of classic hip hop from the 90s and 2000s, and also um, in R&B that you're hearing today. So play with this, uh, have some fun with it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you did, please uh, like and subscribe. Take care.